Welcome back. I'm joined now by Ginger Atwood on behalf of Mesa County Animal Services. And this is your pet of the week. This is Iris. Yep. She is so cute. She's a little bit nervous today. She is, yeah. But that's okay. Lots of dogs get camera shy once we pull <laughs> out the cameras, so that's okay. Um, so what type of a dog do we think she is? So she's a Chihuahua mix. Um, we don't know what she's mixed with, possibly Terrier, but fortunately we don't know 100% on that one. Yeah. So for her size then, do you think she'll probably stay about this size? Yeah, she's about a year, so she's about full grown. Um, mm -hmm. We don't think she'll get any bigger than this. Okay, yeah. <laughs> now she's getting more into it. Yeah. Yeah, so, um, you know, like you said, about a year old. So um, if you're looking for kind of like a smaller dog, this might be the dog for you. Um, her personality, how would you say this is kind of normally how she is calm, or is she kind of different once the cameras are off? She is a more calm dog. She loves cuddling. Mm -hmm. She'll sit on your lap all day if you want her to. Yeah. You can see, yeah, when she warms up pretty quickly, yeah. she likes to give kisses. Oh. So. So she's a nice, cuddly dog. Yeah, she'd be a great lap dog for anyone who just wants to hang out at home, watch some TV, read books. She would enjoy that quite a bit. Perfect. And so she, um, how long has she been with you guys at the shelter? We've had her for a couple of weeks. Um, she was an owner's surrender. Okay. And she just came in because her home situation just wasn't the best for her, but mm -hmm. they did the right thing and surrendered her to us, so now she can find her perfect home. Her perfect home. Awesome. Um, and was she, with that surrender, was she the only dog as part of that surrender? Um, they did have a second dog, and... It just wasn't a good fit for both of them, unfortunately. Yeah. So, yeah. but she does seem to get along with the other dogs at our shelter that she has met. So, oh, good. But okay. We do always suggest that you bring your dog in to meet, just to be sure. Of course. We want to all be comfortable. So. <laughs> yeah, I know you want to make sure. You know, especially with these dogs who are owner surrenders, you want to make sure that their second home is their forever home. Yep, that yeah. is our goal. So, so she's kind of checking things out. Um, are you guys at this point of the year really full with dogs in your shelter right now or do you kind of have some openings? Um, we have a few. It's kind of been going in waves. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I We bet. get them out and then we get a bunch in. And it's yeah. right when we think we're going. Right when we think we're having a lull and then we, they all come back. Well, they don't come back. We, Get new ones Get coming new ones, in. Exactly, so. yeah. So, um, yeah, like always, I mean, if you're looking for a pet, of course, Mesa County Animal Services is always a great option for you, always a great resource, especially with dogs like this, um, because that's kind of, you know, she's been in a home environment. She's kind of been with another dog before, so this, I think, especially would be a good dog. If you're looking for a <laughs> lap dog who's going to join your family, she would be a great option, and she is definitely yeah, she's just she's like, cuddling. She's just no. kind of leading fully on us here. Oh, my gosh, she's so cute. Um, now, with her, so she looks like she's kind of like a short hair. Yes. Yeah. Um, so does she, this is a question <laughs> from my mom, because she wanted to know with different dogs if they shed or if you've noticed that they shed a lot. With her short hair, does it look like she's pretty good with that? She, she will shed. Um, it won't be as much as some breeds. She will still need to be brushed and stuff, but of course, yeah. she won't need as much grooming as like a Labradoodle or a Poodle or one of those longer haired curly breeds. Oh yeah. And so. we've had some, some really fluffy dogs on here. And cats. <laughs> we've had some really fluffy oh, yeah. cats. Yeah. So um, yeah, of course you want to make sure she's groomed nicely, but there she goes. Yeah, there you go. Oh God. How can you resist <laughs> that face? You can't. She's ready to find love. Um, and like always, where can we meet her if people want to go check her out? So we are at um, 971 Kaufman Road, Building mm -hmm. A, out in Whitewater, Colorado, just past the landfill. And we're open Monday through Friday, um, 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. <laughs> and Saturday and Sunday, 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Perfect. Okay, Ginger, thank you so much. Thank and thank you. you for introducing us to Iris. If you want to meet her, <laughs> go check her out. We'll be right back with a final look at your weather. Don't go anywhere.